Wasiati Nichanagut Ke Duasak. My name is Lane Reinhardt, and in collaboration with the Alaska Heritage Institute, we are releasing a series of videos. And you know the preparation, um, you know both spiritually and um, you know physically that goes into preparing for weaving a full-size chilcat robe. In today's video, I'm, you know, kind of demonstrating what goes into weaving that first row. Um, you know, I, I kind of like. <laughs> like to think of it as um, this video as the first row and all you know all the possibilities that you know really begin um, with setting that first row in your robe. Um, it's a a big undertaking. Um, it sets kind of the tone for you know the rest of your your robe and as far as the tension and you, you know you want everything to just kind of look just right um, in those first ones and um, geez I <laughs> I actually spent. Um, you know, some time weaving the first row and then I took it out because um, I didn't like the way it looked. And I've been talking to some mentors and, you know, they told me, you know, if you don't like something, take it out right away. Uh, you don't want to go back to it, you know, three inches later down in your weaving and you know, take out, you know, all the other good weaving that you put in the hard work for in order to get back to that point where you just weren't satisfied with it. So. This um, video documents, you know, me putting in the first row. Um, I hope you enjoy. Gunas chish hadi goodie. See you next time. Bye. All right. Well, you know, this is me. I am starting to weave the first row of a chilcat robe, and um, I think that this is a very special kind of time in the creation of any project is getting those first couple of rows in, whether that's a medicine bag, a pendant, a pair of leggings, a headband, um, you know, perhaps an apron or a child size robe, and then, you know, working your way towards weaving a full size robe. I, you know, never thought that when I started, I would get to the point where I would be here. And so I'm just really grateful for those who supported me along the way. Um, my family for being there, my mom, who I could always call if I needed, you know, that support that a mother can give, my dad for being there as well and just supporting us during this process. I, my mom is a weaver as well, and so just having that connection between us as a family has been really good. Um, so just being grateful, having that in mind when you approach your loom is, I think, very important. Um, I think it was Jenny Clonat who said, you know, make sure your house is clean before you leave. And she didn't mean just the dishes. <laughs> um, when I had um, initially done the first row, I had a lot of, I think, adrenaline pumping through me. I had just gotten done giving a presentation. And so, you know, I had this really nice positive energy, but um, I think it was perhaps even too much energy. And I got done with the first you know, a couple of rows and started in on the third row. And I, you know, realized that the tension wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. So I went ahead and I took, you know, those first rows out and recentered myself, calmed down, still had those, you know, good intentions and good thoughts and, and direction as well. And I redid the first couple of rows in order to make it feel a little bit more at ease. Um, you know, when you're weaving these first rows, it's good to have, important to have matched the sister pairs with each other, um, you know, and that helps set the tension. We actually, in Chilcat weaving, do stacked rows for the first couple of, of rows, um, and that just helps with setting the tension. And then as you continue to weave, if you have to push up any rows, that makes it easier as well. We typically don't do this. Um, another place where it could be appropriate is in the whites of a circle. Um, and I believe that's just for aesthetic reasons, but yeah, just really feeling the, you know, my loved ones in my life you now during this process, you know, absolutely. Um, just realizing that, you know, when you're weaving, you're really through your fingers, your ancestors are, are acting and, you know, just having that reverence and respect for them is I think extremely important and absolutely um you know a joy to be here this is the first row of you know many many more to come as i continue to weave on this robe for the next you know probably at least 
you know, year, year and a half, you know, possibly potentially two years <laughs> or more. Um, you know, just having that balance in your life is extremely important. And when it's not there, it's, um, you know, difficult to make the time to weave. And so, you know, that comes first, taking care of yourself, taking care of, you know, your loved ones in your life to make sure that you're of good body and mind to do this. Goodness, cheese, shati, goodie. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.